What's up and welcome everyone to a new video on Wilds of Eldraine Standard. Today's video is on one of my favorite abilities from the new set, Celebration. <laughs> celebration is an ability introduced in Wilds of Eldraine where the Celebration ability triggers if two or more non-land permanents enter the battlefield under your control this turn. In this deck I'm playing three cards with Celebration payoff. Ash Party Crasher, Raging Battlemouse and Godric. Getting the Celebration ability to trigger is quite easy in this deck. Cards like Voldar and Epicure are two permanents on the board for one mana. If you choose Treasure or Roll Token with Charming Scoundrel, that's two permanents for two mana. Kumano Flipping is another efficient way of putting a permanent on the board for Celebration. And obviously, you can also just play two cards and put two permanents on the board like Kumano and Ash on the same turn. I've decided to go with Boros here instead of Mono Red Aggro, so I can give myself access to Ash Party Crasher and Restless Bivouac both of which are very well worth the splash in my opinion. Ash is just insanely aggressive and capable of winning games by herself, and Restless Bivouac is nice to push the last point of damage after you've been hit by three Sunfalls and two Farewells. There's many more cards capable of triggering Celebration super easily, like Squeen Adelin, even though I cannot recommend Adelin in this deck for mana reasons, which are worth considering if you don't want to craft any of the other cards in this deck. And in case you're on a budget or don't want to invest in the Boros lands, Ash is super easily replaced by Squee, and that would let you cut the white mana completely and play this deck as Mono Red. I went 6-0 with it in ranked, standard best of 3 the other day, so without further ado, here's some gameplay of the great wins deck is capable of. Okay, let's have a look here. I guess we'll uh, start off with Epicure. We next turn have Monsters Rage and Ash, or I guess the turn after the invasion. Or we could start with Ash the Party Crusher too. I'll start with Ash because I'm greedy. Your video is a full second behind. You might have to refresh it because we had a little bit of a bitrate problem uh, like a couple minutes ago. Life of the Shira. Oh, I guess more life gain on it, huh? Well, shit. Devouring Sugar Maw. <laughs> the fuck? The fuck? The fuck? The fuck? Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to just uh, make some moves. <laughs> Accidental life gain dot deck. Yeah. Oh my god, it almost gave me a heart attack. Jesus Christ. That was so loud. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, that was so loud. What the fuck? I hate that cat. I can't. I can't. No, she she just I don't even know. I, I don't even know why she's bothered. It's honestly one of the many mysteries of the universe. She makes all of the rules. <laughs> it fucking does. Nah, she doesn't. She doesn't. She isn't before. <laughs> She's a star, please. She's a star. Play this banger. At least it's got trample. Let's go, Monstrous Rage. I just slam Soak and Sun here for the double. It's like, <laughs> Ash is our only hope. <laughs> you are our only hope, Ash. Like, someone earlier in the chat was like, is, are we playing Ash for the memes? Prove them wrong, queen. Prove them wrong. Here she is, 7-7, seven, seven, Tremble Haste. Can she do it? Can she solo? Prove them wrong. Do we feel slay or hate? Um... More like hate, I fear. Prove them wrong, Ash. You can do this. Pfft. 
I mean, hopefully not a land. I'm going to discard to draw. Please, something good. Fuck! Why? Dang, it's a 22. Four minute hey. Oh, that's a fucking banger, though. Hold up. Please tell me that's not a land. Okay. Well, all right, I get the little mousy wousy that can buff up the uh, the spirit, so that's good as well. So then we have some attackers, at least. Swing in. Hi, Holy. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate you. Was it Azure promo? No, I haven't had a promo in years. Which is fine. Go for the fuck. Arr. All right, we protect, we protect. <sighs> Crying, shaking, throwing up. This is a rough one. Okay. Okay. Let's keep these good vibes going. <laughs> good vibes ruined. Honestly, this might be a keep. Um, this... okay. You know what? Fuck it. I mean, we have like four, four like cards that we can play. I'll try it. If we can win on the mold of four, surely we can win with a one lander, right? Hey, let's go. That's even that's even better now. Um, raging battle mouse, the battle mousey wousey is fine. Yeah, <laughs> two lands all we need. Ash has arrived, the party crasher. All right, maybe we're gaming now. Hold on. What is that? Three... Okay, that was good. Attacking for nine on turn three? Ayo. <laughs> Ayo, I see what you're doing over there. I see what you're doing over there. Shake down heavy. Elio Dragon, thank you for the raid. Welcome, raiders. We're playing some Boros Celebration right now. And hopefully... We're gonna do something this turn. I think we will. Because Monster's Rage represents three additional damage, so we just shove it on one of these. Then we win. You know what? Okay. <laughs> you know what? Maybe it's doing it right now. Hmm. Um, I mean, the double Kumano is always nice. Torture Tower with the token from the Epicure. Wolf dies to cut down. Also true. Also true. How does Cavalier not trigger celebration? She has a little bitch has a trumpet. <laughs> it is a bitch on a horse. I mean, those tend to be very good. Standard fetches evolving wilds. <laughs> uh, mm -mm. I don't know how I feel about that one. Uh, well, we can still just do human here and uh, play the little mouse. What if I put it on mouse? The opponent would be shocked at that point. The three blind mice, low-key like a reasonable celebration activation. Get a 1-1 one -one every turn. It's just that it's a bit expensive, as it should be. Resolute reinforcements. I was considering it, but I thought like the red cards were just better. I definitely want to get rid of the naturalist, so... I 
I still like always um, crack up over the, the celebration trigger. I think it's so funny. The fucking uh, confetti like popping out. <laughs> like why? It's so funny to me. Okay, here we go. The deck's doing good. Deck is doing good. If we had the two mana create two humans from Lord of the Rings, we build in. <laughs> Companion on trumping duty this early into the game. Opponent is intimidated, as they should be. As they should be. Right of harmony. If it isn't our absolute favorite girl, Ash Party Crasher. Looking strong as fuck. Wee. Um, yeah, let's just spread out the uh the power again, I guess. As much as we can. It's fucking giving. Turn four swinging in with the whole team. I mean, I'm not gonna say it. Surely not. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, surely not Sunfall here from the enchantment player. It's not a very Wannery Emperor friendly hand, but it might turn into one. We'll keep it. It's a very nice Ash hand and Godric hand. I like the cottage house. Yeah, the Golgari one definitely wins in terms of flavor and art for sure. Spiteful Hexmage. All right, Ash. Speaking of Bouvier. <laughs> yeah, nah, that's what that's kind of what it reminds me of, too, but I don't know. Not sure. The Ox is just the restless part. I, whenever I see an Ox, I just think about Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> For all my besties that have animal speech uh, as, as something that their character can do, that's all I think of. Wee, the party is uh lit. Oh, we're getting a gonjo. Yeah, I've been finally I have had like a, an hour here or there during the day to play again. Oh my god. Like I love it so much. Wandering Emperor, never heard of it. Never heard of it. Don't know what that is. Oh, Shelly, you are fucked. Shelly, count your days. First of all, we're going to trigger celebration. Then we're going to we're going to start swinging. And we could then shove an extra three damage on top of this attack. That is very tempting. I will do it. So I could put it on Ash, or I could spread out my damage. I think spreading it out is probably a little better, even though like giving her trample is really fucking good. Okay, the window t-shirt. <laughs> I won this in like fucking 2015 or like 2016 playing Overwatch. I don't, and I have no, I don't know where all my like shirts have gone. So this is what I'm wearing. It's called drip, you know, it's called fashion. Anyways, holy fuck, we won again. Frenzy was made to kill Shelly, yeah. Thank God for that. They really, uh... They really knew that we needed that stuff. I just love, like, Ash and Godric together. Like, you know they're in the same party. <laughs> they are at the same party, chilling, hanging out. You know. Love that for them. Uh, it's a little bit too many lands for me, but we'll, uh, we'll see. It might not even be the worst thing about, like, against, um... So let's play this banger. The worst thing against the mirror fairies. Would love it if Mina resolves here. You play into stealth, spell stutter, I guess. Party Crasher plays into fairy mastermind. I think I'm gonna be brave and play, play Mina. 
You got Ash and Godric farting it out and then Talia dramatically staring into the distance by a dead tree. <laughs> the best friend group, yeah. Thank yourself, I'm Talia. That was an expensive. Sorcery speed consider, I wonder why. Easy Godric. A two mana consider, yeah. And that feels good, it's true. Well, decks have been working well. I've had the most success with this deck and my cookie deck. Golgari Cookies is so much fun. Like, I, I'm gonna play it again later. Like, you, you guys are in for a fucking treat. I also have a video of that on my YouTube channel. Um, and a bunch of other Eldraine related videos on there. Actually, I'll, let me link the, the cookie video to the chat, actually. Yep, yep. My YouTube has a bunch of uh, Eldraine videos on there. Here we go. I'll, I'll pin it to the chat. Golgari cookies. So this is uh, what a position to be in with just a fuckload of lands. I mean, um. We could do Ash plus Soak and Sun, I guess. <laughs> this is actually the cheapest Soak and Sun ever. Wait, is there like a legend deck potential? <laughs> nah. Before I ruin everything. An interesting thought, though. An interesting thought. This almost plays like a legend, a legend deck. Yeah, I, I was considering an attack all, but I don't want to lose my Mina. So then I could have done Party Crasher and Soak and Son, but you then only push two extra damage and lose your Party Crasher. Nah, not feeling it. Not worth too much. A hidden cookie? Always. That cookie stays uh, hidden. <laughs> Another two mana consider. It's rough for them. It is rough for them. Okay. Forge the tower. And we have a bivouac attack as well. All right, now we're gonna start, we're gonna start swinging, I think. Uh, actually. I'm gonna start swinging, I think. I cannot cast Torch, but... I'm gonna swing. Boros Legends with Atraxa. <laughs> Please. Sounds like a disaster. So if we put the counter on Mina, then we still have mana for Torch. And then we don't have to sacrifice a token if we put the counter on her. Three, five, seven, eight, nine. But if we put it on one of these, we could slam the lethal. I guess we'll do that. I can always sack a token to, to get rid of the Fairy Vandal if I need to. I think they're just flashing in a creature though. Unless they're removing something instead. Okay. Hmm. Wait, are they considering removing Bivouac? I always assume they're gonna go after Mina because she's whole. Oh, okay. Maybe not even. Dang. Maybe they uh, expected to torch. I truly thought they were gonna go after Mina. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, okay. So that's gonna go on human. We can do the wicked roll because it's another ping to their face, potentially. Wicked roll. Ash trigger. 
I don't think I don't see them winning this. Anyway, let's find out what they do. This dies, we get a ping. Okay. 5-0, baby. Boro celebration. Going to the top. Holy shit. Let's keep it going. Uh, this hand is very fucking mid. I mean, actually, you do have the Godric on three with celebration trigger on it. And we have a restless bivouac. Maybe I'll keep it. Hmm. All of the rules. It's not even the worst. Velomechus lore holding curve. <laughs> Please. A song. I feel like it's acceptable. I don't know. If we find lands at the top, then it's just a rip. Okay. We'll see. We believe in Godric. Sure. All right, let's see. Godric with the potential slay coming up. All oh, ashes arrive too. Now let's not get this countered. Sheesh, go team! Once again, what is that like? Turn three, push, put them in a ten life. That's good. That is good tempo. That is good tempo. I've seen a lot of people try Simic Ramp. I have not seen them successfully do things though. But I don't know, like the Simic, the Simic players are uh, working hard, trying to relive the golden, the golden days of, um, you know, the, the golden days of Simic in, in Eldrain. Unfortunately, this time around, there's no Oko for them, or Once Upon a Time, or, um, <sighs> the story continues, or whatever. <laughs> No, no Uro around either, no Crassus, no Nissa, so it's a little more difficult for them to accomplish something, but they're trying. Okay, these hands are not giving. Fuck, this is bad. Yeah, they have a mother goose instead. <laughs> yeah. Instead of fucking Uros and Okos, they got mother goose, so good for them. Not even a gilded goose. We'll drink hey, um, hey. Uh -huh. hmm. Yeah, I could have done rage and a godric. I don't know. I don't know. I want to see what's up here. Hmm. If they don't just if they don't do anything here, I'm just gonna rage anyways. I'm always raging. I mean, you very easily expect Red to just remove your shit here, so, um... But do you expect it through that? That's the question. Alright, that's fine. I can still play Godric here, but I feel like that might have been a Make Disappear holding up. So I'm just gonna pass. Like, I'm not playing into whatever uh, the opponent is offering, you know? Okay. Yeah, I'm expecting it to counter. Like, that was just throwing away a scrap forger for I don't know why. Anyway.
opponent is on that uh, classic Simic ramp gameplay. This might actually be Besaju or something like that. Let's put everything at four so Kumano might win. This is just Beanstalk activation. All right, then we win the game. Yeah, that, that really felt like your average Simic ramp gameplay, I fear. I respect the Simic players, but yeah. A mouse, a land, and a dream. Okay. Wow, some waste to trigger celebration. Let's see if we can make it happen. Scoundrel treasure it seems pretty bad. You know what? Maybe I'll just slam Ash. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll just do it. Okay, we'll see. I'll go for it. Yeah, nice. Okay. Okay, um, so now we're gonna trigger it super easily. Full there and Epicure. Uh, should we make Ash thick as fuck? <laughs> I think we do. Should go to three and she'd go to four permanently. We can pick. Yeah, okay, we'll do it. See, this is why I like her because her toughness does grow pretty easily. Is she worth the white splash? I don't know. But you then also give yourself the bivouac against the control gamers. So I do think that this version of Celebration can be better than just regular red aggro. I keep, I keep trying to make Azorius Knights work. I feel like it's close. What, what did blue white knight, knights gain? It got the adventure spell, didn't it? It's the only thing that I can think of, like the virtue of something. Yeah, the white virtue. Is there anything else that they got? Can't think of that. All right, chilling with Ash. I'm gonna see what does Scryfall give me. Scryfall, Wilds of Eldrain. Uh, what is it? Type T um, Knight. Oh my god, did Ash just got killed with? I mean, they didn't really need anything more, right? Well, knights would have to be a little bit more aggressive, no? Make it roll. Let's see. Oh, actually, holy shit, there's quite some knights. Wait, what the fuck? I wasn't expecting that. Sir Ginger and Weird Fox. Oh, shit, yeah. I don't know. The fairy side of the invasion of New Phyrexia. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no, I remember that. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I want to make Baluna work too, but I, I've not, never even seen anybody try on the ladder or like anywhere else either. The Jean Adventure all good separately though. Also true, yeah, also true. When I looked into it yesterday, that was uh, that was very true. They're all good on their own, but they don't work together. Like wizards or at least play design, was very fucking careful. <laughs> very fucking careful to make sure that an adventure deck wouldn't happen again. You can you can just tell. Like, most adventures have, like, a more expensive... Um, yeah, most adventure cards have, like, a more expensive adventure side than a creature side, so that you can never curve out the way, like, Bone Crusher allowed you to curve out, and... Um, you know, all of the other, literally all the other adventure cards, like the the fairy one, you name it. They really were fucking careful. They didn't make an automatic curve. That's not really a whole lot of synergy. So yeah, they were uh, they were they were very very careful with that one. I think I'll just witch stalk the swift spear. I feel like I have to block here. I don't lose. I don't want to lose Ash. I don't. I don't. But I feel like I have no choice. 
Do any of the adventures even impact the board? I think yes. The um the druid. The, the the green one with the um forget the name of it with like the black you know one life draw a card and then replay it that one is fucking broken like that is one of the best adventure creatures by a lot the moss knight yeah that one is really really good phoenix chick i'm on your ass i think Oh no, it never under your control. Fuck this turn. Wait, wait, no, wait. It works, right? This turn. Okay. Uh well it doesn't work anyways because it's just one permanent. But anyway, it would have been cool. I don't know what I was thinking. For some reason I thought it was two on the same uh I needed something extra there. <sighs> okay. I mean the pain lands are really getting me though here. I know. I mean, I feel like I need to find a way to win this game. But this is obviously such a risky fucking move. Such a risky move, but... I think I have to try, chat. I think I have to try. Sorry if you hear a cat aggressively have zoomies in the background. <laughs> she loves to make herself known. We had a swear jar before. Yes. But I honestly like, you know. I like swearing. Who cares? <laughs> she is to be heard. Yeah, she is to be heard. You will know her name. That is brave. What the fuck? Okay. So the Battlefield Forge makes things a little awkward here. Trying school. I don't even think it's cool. I just like it. <laughs> I like to enhance my uh, my sentences. Like, imagine if- I don't- I don't know. I don't mean to, like, offend anybody, but imagine if you're just being like, Oh gosh, darn, like... <laughs> darn, darn, that's crazy. I don't know. The Spanish blood- yeah, probably. Probably. Golly, like, that's... <laughs> darn. <laughs> gosh, darn it. Yeah, no, that's not me, guys. Fudge, fudge. Obviously, no offense to anybody that talks like that, but it's not me. Heck and shoot. Frick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Literally. Frick. Okay, good. We got it, guys. Why did you not? Why did this include a courtyard? Oh, God. I really hope it doesn't backfire on me. Shit. Wait. If this is short by one. You'll be hearing from me, Auto Tapper. You really will. I mean, it's not, but it would have been nuts if it was. Go to one for the flex. All right, got there. Well, she's talking. <laughs> yeah. Heck, you know, wow. Yeah. Respect to anybody that tries to keep their content family friendly by not swearing. It could not be me. 